A few years ago, I watched Red Bart's video on how you can live entirely off of Evangelion merchandise, and I remember thinking to myself, man, you could probably do the same with Gundam. And now I finally decided to make that video. So, in this video, we'll be describing the daily life of Jim and Charlotte Gun Ota, the two biggest Gundam fans this side of Jobro. And in the fictional universe they're living in, every piece of Gundam merchandise ever released is readily available, and every Gundam promotion that was ever run also goes on indefinitely. Unfortunately, we don't live in that universe. But you can still score a lot of really cool Gundam items through Buyi, the proxy buying service that allows you to buy anything from Japan at the lowest prices in the business. They're compatible with websites like Mercari, Rocketan, and Yahoo Auctions, where you can often find awesome Gundam related items at great prices, including premium Bandai. But they only ship to Japan. And this is where Buy steps in to help you with getting those great deals. You can either browse those websites through the Buy website or the websites themselves, and then you can simply paste the URL on Buy. Then you simply click the Buy It Now button or the Place Bid button and Buy does the rest. Then once the products arrive at their warehouse, they'll keep the items for free for up to 30 days so you can easily combine the shipping of multiple items. And to easily find what you're looking for, here's a Kakarot Pro Tip. Use the Japanese writing of the mobile suit or character you're looking for, which in 99.99% .99 of cases will be listed on their Gundam Wiki article. And when it comes to the auctions, this is another one of Buy's big selling points. Their bidding system is instant and you only have to pay once you win, so there's no need to upfront any money for an expensive auction when you're not even sure you're going to win the damn thing. And talking about money, by signing up through the link down below, you'll get 2000 yen off of your first purchase on Buy. So good luck hunting that Gundam merchandise. And now let's have a look at Mr. and Mrs. Gunoda as they go about their daily lives in Gundam style. And since there aren't any Gundam branded houses for sale yet, they've permanently booked themselves into the Gundam themed suite at the Grand Pacific Ladaiba Hotel. A suite consisting of a Federation and a Zeon side where everything is Gundam themed, including the desks, the shower, the toilets, and even the beds, which the Gunodas have moved together. And talking about the bed, it's 6 a.m. and the sound of the horror alarm clock echoes through the room. Jim begrudgingly rolls out of bed and has a look at his Black Shark 4S smartphone, and Char does much the same on her iPhone with official Gundam cover. Nothing important comes up, so both of them go for their morning drink of choice. A canned Gundam coffee for Jim, and a meticulously prepared green tea for Charlotte. Or Char, as we will be calling her from here on. And of course, this is served with her exquisite Char tea set. And after her tea, she begins preparing breakfast with only the best Gundam ingredients. The rice has a Xeon insignia in it and has some RX-78-2 canned tuna and Char custom spice to make things three times better. This is then of course all served on Gundam plates and with Gundam tableware. In the meantime, Jim is getting ready for his morning shower. He grabs his Success X Gundam shampoo and starts scrubbing away. Then when he's done, he dries himself off with his Federation towel and grabs his K4 Tetra Gundam Edition for the perfect shave. And because today is the day he might get a promotion, he decides to dress himself extra fancy. Gundam Nutty Kitty boxer briefs and socks to really get that Gundam feeling, his best Gundam X Kosuke Kawamura suit, and a very fancy Federation Seiko Prospects watch. And when he goes out, he'll pair them with his Xeon themed Trickers leather shoes. Finally, as the finishing touch, he sprays himself with the Axe Ex Gundam body spray that even came with a little RX-782 Gundam figure. For Char, things unfortunately get a little bit less Gundam themed in the bathroom. 
her shower goes much the same as Jim, but then with Xeon flavor towels. But inside of her Char custom makeup pouch is only regular makeup. And the same goes for her toothbrush. It's just a normal toothbrush, but at least it's an Aizaku themed holder. So be it. And at her office, it's casual Friday. So she gears up with some Gundam jeans, the For Someone Shars counterattack shirt, a pair of SB Dunk High Banshee sneakers, and the Puerta del Sol Xeon jewelry collection, paired with the Char version of the Seiko Prospects watch. After breakfast then, Jim is the first to leave. He throws on his O8 MS Team backpack, which has all of the important things in it. A Gundam notebook, Gundam pens, a Gundam themed 1GX1 Pro that will take care of all of his office computing needs, and all of his commuting gaming needs. And he also threw in an Earth Federation Wanderswan, just in case he felt like playing some retro games on the go. He then puts on his unicorn helmet, hops on his unicorn race bike, and starts pedaling to the station to get on his train to work. And when he arrives at the station, he whips out his PASMO, places it on the scanner at the gates, causing his RX-78 2 PASMO case to light up. With a smile, he enters the Gundam-themed train, puts on his unicorn Gundam wireless earbuds, and opens up one of the many Gundam mobile games. Char, on the other hand, takes the car to work, her Toyota Auris Char Custom, which is three times faster than the standard Auris. Perhaps due to some modifications she made with tools that she keeps in her Shark Custom Toolbox, but nobody has to know about that. A few hours later then, it's time for lunch. Usually Shar makes both of them a nice bento in true Xeon fashion. The main meal goes into the Earth Attack Forces lunch box and the extra treat goes into the Agai mini bento box. But today, both of them decided to go out eating. Char heard about the new McDonald's menu, so she couldn't not try the Char custom teriyaki burger. And Jim went to Koko Ichibanya, a curry place that has an origin collaboration, where you can also win various prizes, so he hopes to win at least one of them to give to his wife for her birthday. After all, he still has a lot to make up for, after wasting so much of their money on Gundam-backed horse racing and pachinko machines. And after lunch, the big thing happens. Jim gets his promotion, and as part of the common business routine, the boss decides to have a nomikai or drinking party after work. And what better place than the Gundam Cafe to have one? With an abundance of Gundam themed drinks, foods and snacks, there really was no better option. And of course, the whole thing was paid for with the official Gundam Visa card. So naturally Char comes home first, just as the two Haro robot vacuum cleaners are finishing up their tasks. To relax then, she first hops into the bath with a Bikura Tamago bath bomb, which is not just a bath bomb, but also comes with two Gumpla. She decided to go for the face shift down strike version, which will also come with either a sand brown goon or grey zono. Which means that we all know what she's going to do after her bath. She changes into her Char sweatpants, Char X Hello Kitty sweater, and whips out her Gumpla tools. Her arsenal consists of a Char cutter knife, Xeon automatic sander, a Gundam marker, the red Bandai Spirits entry nippers, an Aegis Gundam cutting mat, and a Char custom magnifying glass. And as cherry on top, she also makes herself a delicious tea. This time with her traditional Zaku teapot served in a beautiful Char cup. 
But while building the strike, the inevitable happens. She cuts her finger. Fortunately, she has a bunch of Gundam Band-Aids to patch her right up. And once finished, the Strike and Zono will look great next to her curry-colored RX-782 that she got from one of Gundam's many collaborations with Cup Noodle. And then when Jim finally gets home, they cook dinner together. A delicious hot pot served in the Shard Zagok pot, with some big Zam tofu on the side. And for dessert, a melon soda float served in one of the many available Gundam glasses. But of course, no evening is complete without a glass of Loom Victory wine. A wine that is best enjoyed playing a Gundam board game. And as the night grew longer, it was time for the Gundam lingerie and Char custom boxers to do their magic, along with the official Char vibrator and the not officially endorsed not quite Gundam condoms. The next day then, the weekend started and both Jim and Char had their own plans. For Jim it was a weekend out camping with the boys and man was he prepared. Dressed in his new outdoors Jarbro collection, he went over the checklist. Zeon Attack Forces tent? Check. Zeon Field Bed with matching duvet and pillow? Check. New Gundam Lighter, check. Zeonic Multipurpose Barrel, check. Principality of Zeon Emergency Rations, check. Bottles with clean drinking water and other Gundam beverages, check. Cutlery and whatnot, check. Zeon Grilled Cheesemaker, check. And last but not least, his Gundam Fishing Rod and Zagok Lure, check. It was all a bit more Zeon style than he would have liked, but the important thing was that everything was there. As for Char, she travels in a bit more style. With her Char suitcase and Hyakushiki Golf caddy bag in hand, she's taking a flight on the Anna X Gundam airplane, where she can then buy some limited Anna X Gundam merchandise, because clearly they don't have enough yet. And when they both get back home, it's time for some co-op gaming on their overkill Gundam-themed computers. Built in the ROG Strix Helios Gundam Edition, these gaming monsters have an ROG Strix RTX 3080, a Z590 Wi-Fi Edition motherboard, Intel 10900K CPU, ROG Strix LC360 RGB AIO cooler, 64GB of Trident Z Royal RAM, and a trusty ROG Strix 850G power supply to power all of those parts. And even the peripherals are Gundam themed. And when they're not gaming, building Gunpla, reading Gundam manga, or watching Gundam anime, they enjoy playing the guitar. In Gundam style, of course. So, as you can see, a Gundam fan can quite comfortably live off of Gundam merchandise alone. And the stuff in this video isn't even close to everything. There's things I had to skip, and probably even more that I either forgot or didn't know about. So let me know down below which one is your favorite and subscribe to Gundam News if you want to stay updated on the latest Gundam merchandise that is released. Believe me, there's not a single week where there isn't some kind of new Gundam merch being released. And I think we can even go one step further and make our Gundam lives three times better. Instead of Gundam merch, I'm fairly certain that you can live off of just Char merch. I think we might have to make some more compromises here and there, but I think it should be more than doable. So stay tuned for that. As for now, a big thanks to Bai for sponsoring this video. Another big thanks to the Patreon supporters. I hope everyone watching has a great day, and I'll see you all next time.